Hi, I'm Andrew Burney. I'm a consultant dermatologist at The One Ashford. I also chair the East Kent Skin Cancer MDT, so I've had a lot of exposure to skin cancer. In addition to that, I've also created a sunscreen called Altruist, which has meant I've done a lot of research into the area. And there's certainly there's no doubt that sun exposure does cause skin cancer. There are many types of skin cancer, and the two most serious ones that are sort of the most common are melanoma and squamous cell carcinoma. And realistically, the pattern of exposure to sunshine does vary as to what causes the, each type of skin cancer. With melanoma, it tends to be intense burning episodes. So when you typically have your shirt on for most of your, your, your year, and then you take it off and get a big blast of sunshine for on, when you're on holiday. And burning episodes are the real problem there. And squamous cell carcinoma tends to be a cumulative buildup. So every time you're out in the sun, whatever time of year, but particularly in the summer months, you're adding to that cumulative burden of ultraviolet damage. And people eventually get to the point where they can't take it anymore and potentially develop a skin cancer. It's a about being sensible and protecting yourself and um, being aware of what's going on in, with the sun. So if you're outdoors a lot, it makes sense to wear a sunscreen all the time. So covering your arms and your face, the exposed bits. With regards to melanoma, the most important thing is not to burn. So if you're going to be out for any length of time, make sure you've got sunscreen on. If it's hot, wear a hat, sunglasses, t-shirt. There's a lot of debate as to how important vitamin D is, uh, but certainly it's important for your bone health and uh, your calcium metabolism. So it makes sense for it to be at good levels. We do know that um, in the winter, people's vitamin D levels drop because basically it's created by the effect of ultraviolet B on your skin. So if you protect yourself completely by wearing clothes year round, you won't develop any. However, most people who live an active lifestyle will probably develop enough vitamin D through summer months, even if they're using sunscreen, unless they're doing it absolutely religiously, applying it thickly every couple of hours. It's probably sensible to take vitamin D supplementation in the winter because you're not getting enough, and 10 to 20 micrograms a day should be sufficient. Well, I, I typically will use sunscreen as a post-shave moisturiser. I in fact use the Altra sunscreen as a post-shave moisturiser round about from March through till October. And as well as doing it just to my sort of where I shave, I extend it up to my face, top of the ears and the side of the neck. That then provides me with a base of protection for the day so that if I am out and I haven't brought any with me, I at least won't get caught out completely. If I'm out for any length of time, then I'll reapply and I'll make sure I'm wearing a hat. And I typically will make sure my I've got a shirt on as well, so I'll put sunscreen on my arms again if I'm out for any length of time. With regards to vitamin D, I don't bother really with taking vitamin D supplements through the summer, but probably for, again from about October to March, so when I'm not using the sunscreen, I'll actually be taking the vitamin D and I take 10 or 20 micrograms a day. The things you should be looking out for are new or changing lesions or little sores that don't heal. If that's the case, then I'd recommend that you should see your GP and if they're worried, they would refer you to see me and of course I'd be happy to see you.